Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're making our very own glow-in-the-dark paint that has pretty much unlimited amount of potential uses. What we're making today has a very bright glow that lasts for quite a long time. In fact, it's really awesome for things that you might want to use for decorations or costumes. So, let's get started. To make a glow-in-the-dark item like the glasses you just saw, all you need to do is get yourself some clear nail polish or clear coat and some white primer to prep the materials that you're going to make glow. And just like using spray paint, we're going to have to shake up our paint to mix it up really well first, and we're going to add two or three of these small ball bearings to help with that process. The other key ingredient that we're going to be using here is a super glow powder that you've seen me use in a lot of previous videos, but we're going to get to that in just a minute. First, we need to prepare our different polish bottles for getting the glow powder inside. To be completely honest, adding the glow powder to the nail polish is a pretty tricky process unless you make one of these little funnels like we're doing right here. This will help get the powder inside much easier. I have several previous videos which are linked in the description below, making reusable glow sticks and many other items using this same strontium illuminate, which is also known as super glow powder. Today I'm going to be using a half a teaspoon of an aqua colored glow powder, and before I add that in, I'm putting the two to three small ball bearings into the polish bottle first. Using this technique, it's actually quite easy to go ahead and add the strontium illuminate into the bottle as long as you take your time. Kind of pour it a little bit slow, that way you don't block the end of the tube that you've got in the bottle and it'll all go in just like this. You'll notice it all settles to the bottom, which is why we added the ball bearing so that we can put the cap back in it and shake it up really well. If you don't hear the ball bearings rattling around, it's not mixed enough yet and when you're done you want it to look a little bit like this. In order to demonstrate the use of this paint, I'm going to go ahead and pick an item to paint, which is an old pair of sunglasses. I'm going to pop out the lenses and take the frame apart, and then give it a quick wipe down with some rubbing alcohol before I hit it with a coat of white primer. The white primer serves two purposes. One, it gives it a good, clean background to put paint onto, but it also is a light reflective surface so that we don't have to use quite as much of the glow powder in order to get this to shine and glow bright in the night. To get the best effect, you're going to want to put on multiple light coats, continuing to dip the brush back in as often as possible and pick up the extra amount of that glow powder. Do remember, you need to shake the bottle from time to time to mix the glow powder back in with the solution. When I was done with the first coat, I let it dry and put it in the dark and found that I did have some patches that needed covering up again. And this way you do know, you're going to need at least one, maybe two more coats. After the second coat, there was still a couple of small patches, so I hit it with a good third coat. And once that was dry, it looked exactly like I wanted it to glow when it was dark. When everything is dry, run your finger along the surface and you're going to find it feels a little bit like sandpaper. And that's because the glow powder is like little grains of sand. We don't want that rough finish on the surface of what we're going to have, especially on a pair of glasses like this. So I want to smooth it out and protect the paint. The easiest way to do this? A couple more layers of clear nail polish. Or some top coat. When everything had dried again, and I liked the results of the pieces that I had painted, I went ahead and reassembled the pair of glasses, and then I threw it in the dark and tried it out again. Charging up the glow for this paint is quite easy. I find that just putting it under any form of bright light does a really good job. In fact, the brighter the light, the shorter the amount of time you need it in there. About 15 to 20 minutes will give you a really solid glow. But if you want to get a fast, really powerful glow, try hitting it underneath a black light. 
You can get really creative with these kind of super glow powders and making different kinds of paints and finding things to paint with them. And you can get a lot of different colors too. If you like, you can check out some of my previous videos where I've made other things using Strontium Illuminate and had some really amazing effects. Thank you for taking the time to stop by Dialed In DIY today and checking out my video. If you liked it or got something out of it, please let me know by clicking on that thumbs up. If you don't mind while you're here, I'd also love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. And please do feel free to check out my playlists because there are a lot of other kinds of video projects I have out there. And as always, there will be plenty of more Dialed In DIY to come.